Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today we're going to mix it up a bit. We're going to try a little showdown between badger brushes and synthetic brushes. First I'll go through and explain some differences. I use the Simpsons brushes as an example. They're made on the Isle of Man in the UK and they're considered among the world's finest shaving brushes. So I think that's a pretty good example, don't you? I'll put the Simpsons chubby lineup of brushes, which are badger brushes, up against the Trafalgar synthetic brushes. We'll discuss the chubby one, two, and three and then the Trafalgar T1, T2, T3. Those will be our examples. So after I explain a few things, we'll come back right here to the Shave Nation Prison Laboratory, which a lot of people call it, with the no window and brick wall back here. Uh, that's exactly the look I was going for, so thanks for those comments. Greatly appreciated. We'll come back in here, and I will mix up a lather with a Chubby 2 versus a Trafalgar T2 shaving brush and we'll see who does better or if they do the same. This is where the rubber hits the road, as they say. So we'll do a comparison between the two and we'll see if one mixes lather faster or better than the other. That'll be the acid test. Okay, let's get to work. Here's a look at the Simpsons Chubby Best lineup of shaving brushes. On the far left, you can see that the Chubby One is the smallest, Chubby Two, medium, Chubby Three, large. So as the numbers go up, the size gets larger, one, two, and three. On the front label it reads here, Chubby Best Badger, Simpson, handmade in Great Britain. Same thing on the two and three. Simpson's brushes are considered among the world's finest shaving brushes. Here's a look at the back side. No markings on the back, no markings on the bottom. Here's a look at the Simpsons Trafalgar line of synthetic shaving brushes. On the left is the T1, which is the small, T2 in the middle, and T3, the largest on the far right. On the back side, it reads Sovereign Synthetic Fiber, handmade. No markings on the bottom. Here's a look at the Chubby 1 Badger Brush next to the T1 Synthetic Brush. Here's the Chubby 2 Badger Brush next to the T2 Synthetic Brush. Here's the Chubby 3 Badger Brush next to the T3 Synthetic Brush. Here's a brand new Chubby 1 Badger Brush and this is my often used Chubby 1 Badger Brush. After several uses, the new brush will widen up like this. The knot will remain dense and thick, but it will increase in size, which to me is a big plus. This has to do with the water retention of the Badger hair. The reason for the pink tips on my Chubby 1 Brush well, that's a topic for an upcoming video. We'll discuss that later on. Here's a brand new Chubby 2 Badger Brush next to my often used Chubby 2 Badger Brush. You can see again that the bristles are thicker, larger, they've widened up. You can see that the knot has expanded larger than its original size. After many uses, there will not be much size difference in the knots on the synthetic brushes. They will not flare out and become denser like the Badger Brushes do. This has to do with water retention as well. I believe that the synthetic brushes don't retain the moisture as well as the Badger brushes do. The difference between the Chubby Best Badger and Chubby Super Badger Simpsons brushes, well, it's a better quality grade of Badger on the Super and it will feel just a bit softer on the face. The knot sizes between the Best and Super remain the same. All right, here I am back in the Shave Nation laboratory, AKA testing grounds. We're gonna do a, a lather up comparison showdown between the Simpsons Chubby 2 and the Simpsons Trafalgar T2 synthetic brush. Here they are side by side, pretty much the same size handle. The knot on the badger seems a tad larger, but we're gonna go number two to number two. So that's how we're gonna do it. And I will use the Shave Nation ceramic lather bowl with the lather spot down at the bottom, right there. I'll use a shaving cream that many of us have in our arsenal of shaving creams and soaps, which is the Proasso Menthol and Eucalyptus. Very popular. It's been around since about 1926. Time-tested, world-renowned, the favorite of many professional barbers, especially Italian ones. So, 
I'll squirt some of this into the bowl, equal amounts. We'll do the badger and then we'll do the synthetic and we'll see how it works out. Is one better than the other? Does one mix lather faster or thicker or more? We'll get to it. Before lathering up, let's talk about a quick comparison, just how the brushes feel. Here's the chubby one and then here's the T1, the synthetic. The synthetic, oh, so soft, feels like an angel's hair. It reminds me of that scene in The Untouchables, Kevin Costner, when he gives his little daughter, he's tucking her in bed, and she says, Daddy, Eskimo and Butterfly. And he leans down, Elliot Ness, he leans down and he gives her the Eskimo kiss with the nose and then takes his eyelashes and flutters them along her cheek. That's kind of what this feels like to me. Nice and soft, baby soft, angel soft, whatever you want to call it. And then the chubby, badger, much more scritchy or scratchy. You can definitely feel that poking into your skin a bit. Once we commence to lathering in the bowl, that may change. We'll see. Let's get to it. Okay, here's a marble cup. I'm gonna fill it with hot water. Here's the chubby two badger. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. Nice, thick, dense knot. Drop it into the water. You can hear bubbles. It's absorbing water. Here's what it looks like when it's saturated. And once it soaks up that water, you can feel that it's noticeably heavier than it was before it got soaked. The brush is soaking in the hot water. Let me warm up the bowl. It is ceramic, so it will retain some heat. Set the bowl down. Take the brush out of the water. Pour out that water. I'm gonna give it a few shakes, get rid of that water. I'll squirt some Parasso right into the bottom of this lather spot. Just gonna fill it up. I'll use the same amount of shaving cream for both brushes and we'll mix the lather for one minute. Ready? Go, here we go. Look at that, whoa, it's coming up all over the place. Lots of lather. This is the Badger, Simpsons Chubby 2 Badger brush. Look at 17 seconds only. I'll keep going for a full minute. And we'll see how much we can get out of this. Just running the tips of the brush across that lather spot down at the bottom. Look at that. 33 seconds right now. Can't even keep track of all this lather. It's just all over the place. 45 seconds. So much lather. 53. Woo. 57. All right, 60. There we go. Tons of lather on the brush and in the bowl. Lots of lather. So the Chubby 2 Badger performed quite well. Shave Nation Bowl, Parasso Cream, tons of lather in one minute. Now I'll rinse the bowl out and we'll start from scratch with the synthetic T2 brush. Okay, here's my marble cup with the water. And here's the T2 synthetic brush. Here's a look at it when it's dry. Let's drop that right into the water. Here's what it looks like once it's saturated. Now I'm gonna pour the water out and shake out most of the water from the brush. You need to shake out more water with the synthetic brush than you do the badger brush. Let's warm up the bowl. Now I'll fill the bottom lather spot with the Parasso. Same amount. And I'll go for one minute. Start. Oh, a little slower building the lather. I'm running the tips across the lather spot just like I did before. It is coming up, just takes a little bit longer. 17 seconds. The bowl is almost to the top. Thirty seconds. There we go. Pretty good. I'll keep going. Forty-five seconds. Good amount of lather. Let's keep going. Here we 
Here we go. 57, 59, 60 seconds. I don't want to do any more. 60 seconds. Look at that lather. The bowl is got quite a sufficient amount still left around the sides there. But look at this. Thick and creamy. Very nice. Look at that. Excellent lather as well. Okay, here we go. Here's the badger. Here's the synthetic. Which one do you like better? I gave them each a minute and they both performed quite well. I will say that the badger mixed up a little bit more, but let's take into account something else. Let's try this. Let me brush this on my face. Synthetic on the right side. It does flop over, you know, it's not real sturdy. Here we go with the badger brush on the left side. It's, it's stiffer. I don't know. Who wins? I think they both perform quite well. Well, when you take price into account, the Badger brush is more expensive. The synthetic brush costs less. If money is an issue, that comes into play. Both mixed a really nice lather. Synthetic, Badger, both did a great job. I will say that I think the Badger was a little bit faster and did mix up a bit more lather. Before applying shaving cream, the bristles of the synthetic brush, much softer. The bristles on the badger, a little more scritchy or scratchy, but once you put the shaving cream on the brush and lather up, they feel pretty much the same. Really is not much of a difference. Which one do you think won the showdown? Synthetic? Badger? I thought both performed quite well, but let's hear what you have to say. Which one do you think was better? One thing that is quite noticeable, the size of the knot when loaded with shaving cream. The badger is much larger. The water expands the bristles and it just increases in size. The synthetic stays the same. Let me clear the runways so I can get my shave on. All right, now I'm ready. If you wanna pick up any of these items, the brushes, the cream, the bowl, just click under the video where it says show more. I'll have links right there, or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Please do me a favor before I head out, please click that subscribe button down there, then click the bell, then click all. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. I'm going to get my shave on right now. I always call brushing on the lather the Zen moment of shaving. Can you have a double Zen moment? Oh, I think you can. <laughs> uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.